Hey folks, we're back for our second Imperial Assault video. Basically, I'm going to show you guys how we put it away and all the pieces that are. At the very end, we'll take still photos of all the miniatures and all the pieces so you can check it out in more detail because I did get a few emails saying they wanted more detail from us on this video. Now, you know it's Imperial Assault, so we'll move that to the side. Now, in the Learn to Play booklet itself, the very first page tells you how to assemble everything and how many different cards and stuff there are for everything. Now, one thing that really confused me was it said there's 59 map tiles, but they only go up to tile number 39. There are several of certain tiles. So number 38 might have eight different tiles on it. So when it says 59 map tiles, it's literally 59 tiles, not 1 to 59. So don't freak yourself out the way I did. Now, we broke it down where each set of guys got their own little bag. The walker has his own bigger bag. And one thing that did come in it that I didn't mention last time is that Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader both came as an expansion pack for this. So they have their own little sets of rules besides the characters in and of themselves. So make sure to check that out. Uh, these are some of the first expansions, but they're included inside the set themselves. Now, in addition to that, as you can see, when we broke down the tiles, I just numbered them, and for every set of 10, put them inside of about a quart size bag. It makes it much easier to put out the map itself, as well as to put them away later. So there, everything's not everywhere, and hopefully you'll be able to keep track of your game a little bit better. Since you're going to spend good money on this, you might as well take care of it. Now, here's something we did not go through last time, and it's the spinning dial. Now, it does show you how to put it together in the booklet, and as you can see, it basically is just keeping track of tallies for different injuries going on. Now, the cards themselves, the game breaks down and tells you how to separate them. So go ahead and do that. And one thing that I didn't talk about last time as well was that they give you these stickers. And with the stickers, you can mark your pieces. So therefore, if your friends have it as well, they can use a different color on their markers. In addition to that, I'm going to write my initials on the bottom of them, so it's going to make it real easy to tell which miniatures are mine and which are other people's, since everybody's going to have the exact same set of miniatures for the game. Now, other than that, we're going to take photos and put them at the end of this video, so go ahead and check it out to get the details that you really want. Thank you for watching.